One of our neighbors called us and said, you know, there's a mess outside your house. There's some malicious mischief, obviously, with some property damage. Now at five, a San Francisco family feels violated after someone tears down their show of support for Ukraine. Not one, but two Ukrainian flags on display right outside their house, thrown right to the ground. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Julie Hayner. This is just adding to the stress of the victims who have relatives in the war-torn country. Our crime reporter, Henry Lee, joins us now from the newsroom with the details. And Henry, you spoke with the couple about what they're going through. Yeah, Mike and Julie, I did, and it turns out they're no strangers to crime, but they're still hurt and disturbed by the vandalism. They're not sure what the motive is, but they do know the man acted deliberately, and it was all caught on video. Surveillance video shows a man in a giant's jacket spotting a Ukrainian flag outside a home in San Francisco's inner Richmond. Within moments, this happens. For whatever reasons, though, the flag got his attention, kind of like um, a red cape in a bullfight. After tearing down the flag, the man leaves, comes back, and takes down a larger Ukrainian flag from the wall before hurling it onto the sidewalk. Homeowner Liana Dewitiak doesn't know what he was thinking. He was clearly after the flags. Now, whether he was after them because he's just nuts or he was after them because of the significance of them, I don't know. But he wasn't done. He tossed the planter down the sidewalk and threw a second one out onto the street. He went on to hurl cast iron furniture off the front porch. The vandal pulled a flagpole bracket off the house, damaging the outside. So for now, the large Ukrainian flag isn't back on display. I think it was generally angry and hateful. Dewitiak is half Ukrainian on her father's side. She visited in 2019, has been trying to return, but the pandemic hit and then the war. I have family over there that are in the middle of this. This bothered me a lot. It also bothers her because both she and her husband, Reno Rapagnani, happen to be retired San Francisco police officers. Even so, it took a couple of calls before the cavalry came from the Richmond station, where Rapagnani formerly worked. No one is immune. This is the safest police district in the city. And, you know, we've seen a real uptick in crime in the Richmond. And then we just don't have enough police officers anymore. San Francisco police are reviewing the surveillance video in hopes of identifying this vandal. Anyone with information is asked to call SFPD. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Okay, Henry, thank you.